passed the first bill uh, to raise it by an amount that didn't even meet the inflation that we lost over the uh, previous amount of time. And of course, Governor Clinton vetoed that. And fortunately, the legislature, a couple of uh, years later, uh, after the majority's increase in the legislature, finally overrode that veto. But we need a governor who understands that the health of our rural economy depends upon a good infrastructure. And so there's a couple of things we could do. Uh, we need to support Congressman Jim Overstar who's trying to get a reauthorization uh, of the National Transportation Funding. And uh, that will have major significance for our ability to leverage resources. The second is, we're already getting to the point where we're leaving federal money on the table because we don't have the state match for it. Uh, and you know what? Here in rural Minnesota, we're not getting the project. And you know why? Because the pie that is available is being sucked up by the metro area. The big crosstown project they've got, and there's another project on 169, another on 610 in the northwest metro. Those are so big and they're so expensive, and the Plenty Administration has so starved us, and I might have Tom Emmer as well, because that's his voting record that he stood behind, is so starved us for resources for road that when you have big projects like that, which are important in the metro, then there isn't anything left. And so when I was just talking with Harris Dunnick from Dunnick Construction, the largest rural road builder, uh, based out of Princeburg, uh, just south and the west of Wilmer, Harris said, we don't know what we're going to do. We've got our trucks standing around, we've got our people standing around. He said, we're doing work in Iowa, we're doing work in South Dakota, we're doing work in Texas. There's no work here in Minnesota. And we need to recognize that that's, that's not going to work for us. Because if we expect our goods to get to market, if we expect companies to locate in rural Minnesota, then we have to make foreign investment. We can leverage huge amounts of federal money as long as we're just making those state matches. And so as governor, I intend to make sure that we're working with the revenue that we need to get those matches and to leverage the gigantic amount of federal money there and then to lobby heavily in Washington, uh, D.C. Uh, to make sure that we get the reauthorization through the Congressman Overstar wants. And uh, I know Senator Klobuchar and Senator Franklin are, are working to help us on those issues as well so that Minnesota can get uh, the revenue that we need Obviously, and, I, and it's, it's widely important.
us, each one of them, about what we need for, for resources. We need to use the state funding, reclassify roads. In some cases, we may have some of our town roads, and there are some town roads that need to be abandoned. That they were set up when, when I grew up and we had somebody living every quarter mile uh, on a road on every single, you know, in the Jefferson model of, of square mile. We need to, we change. Let's think about how we can adapt a new system. Uh, I laugh at when I talk to counties. We all have, if you go up to every county, they have 